Hey folks, uh, this lesson is where it's called Finding Parallelogram. So we're going to be building a dog park. You can hear my, my dog Chewy shaking in the background. So I have several dogs. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's our dog, our dog, dog park design. Okay. Uh, here's a map of a town. You have three empty lots, lots A, B, and C. So here's lot A, B, and C that are available for a dog park. So we're going to click and draw a dog. Oh, Chewy, I'm busy. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw this. Or I'm going to drag this dog. Now I can't, but if I could, I'm going to drag it to lot B. So we'll select lot B, okay? So here we go. Lot B is 250 feet wide. So that's um, this uh, length right here, 250 feet wide and 275 feet long. So this is going to be my 275 feet long. And we also have to meet uh, these code restrictions. I'll enlarge those code restrictions. I think I did here. Let me see if I did. I did. All right. So there must be a four foot sidewalk around the entire park. Okay. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, this park right here. So there's going to be a four foot section around here. And it says one end of this park right here must be designated as a parking lot. And it has to be at least 20 feet wide. So either this end or this end or this end or this end. And uh, you'll find we're going to do it over here. We'll talk about it in just a second. Well, because right here. So a small creek runs along the birch side. So we'll discover that this is the small creek over here and nothing can be built within 15 feet of the creek, not even the sidewalk, okay? So the four foot sidewalk that's going around. So our dog park must be a parallelogram. Uh, and this code was put in place by the town's mayor who was also a math teacher. What a cool person. All right, so here we go. So let's circle the one that we're going to do. We're going to do uh, lot B right here. So with, with this lot, uh, our goal is to construct the largest possible dog park that meets all those restrictions. And we're going to build a dog park in here along with a parking lot. And we got to worry about uh, um, uh, the creek that's over here. And then we got to put a, a four foot walkway going all the way around. So following these restrictions. So, so what do we know about the lot size and the code requirements? Okay. So the lot size is right here is 250 feet wide and 275 feet long. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. And then also we know that there must be a four foot sidewalk going around. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And then this one says one end must be designated a parking lot that's at least 20 feet wide. So that's our next piece right there. And our next piece is, is a small creek runs along the birch side of the street of the lot. Uh, nothing can be built within 15, si uh, 15 feet of that creek. So there's that information. And the last piece is it has to be a parallelogram, okay? So the dog park must be a parallelogram. And what do we want to find out? We want to find out uh, the area of the, or the dimensions actually, of the largest dog park that we can build on this empty lot. Okay, so what kind of answers do we expect? We're going to expect uh, positive numbers. There goes my dryer. So as I get home from school and doing all my chores and fed my dogs and fed my chickens and ducks and did some sprinklering because it's hot out there and I want to cool the yard off. Anyway, so some positive numbers for the length uh, measured in feet and for um, uh, area. I don't think we're doing area on this, but area would always be square feet. We're just going to be doing the dimensions on this. So here's a map of our town. So we have here's 1st Avenue, 2nd Avenue, 3rd Avenue. Notice our lot is between 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue. This right here is going to be, we're going to talk about this. I think that's a school. I forgot. And then we're going to talk about this. I forgot one of them's a school. We'll get to that in just a second. So, oh, a theater. Look at the theater on 1st Avenue between Alder and Birch. Okay. So here's 1st Avenue right here between Alder and Birch. We're looking at this figure right here. This is our theater. Okay. So um, if the corners of the theater are right angles, is that theater a parallelogram? Why or why not? So let's go ahead and put in those right angles right here. And is this a parallelogram? Well, there's a couple of things we can say. Yes, it is a parallelogram. I just said this. Um, it's a parallelogram because these opposite angles are congruent to each other. They're both right angles. And since there's four right angles, it's a rectangle. 
some of you guys might be thinking a square, but we don't know how big these sides are. But, but a rectangle is a type of, of parallelogram. So the question is, is it a parallelogram? Yes, because these pairs of opposite angles are congruent, and so are these. All right. And then uh, now we're going to look at the school on 2nd Avenue between Dogwood and Elm. Okay, so here's the school right here on 2nd Avenue between Dogwood and Elm. So here's my school right here. So this says, is this school a quadrilateral? Well, why or why not? You know, well, yeah, there's four sides and that's the definition of a quadrilateral. So um, it's a quad because it has four sides. And is this school, and I just kind of uh, highlighted it, here it is down here, is this school a parallelogram? Why or why not? Well, I can see it's not a parallelogram. I think I said because these sides are not congruent, but you can definitely see that they're not parallel also. So something like that. So the school is not a parallelogram because uh, I got a pair of opposite sides along uh, 2nd Avenue and 3rd Avenue. Here's 3rd Avenue down here, and they're not congruent. This side is definitely longer than this side. So I don't know, something like that. Just make it sound um, nice and sophisticated here. So we're going to draw a picture that represents what we know about the empty lot. Okay, so here's what we know about the, this empty lot right here. Somewhere we had these dimensions right here. Okay, so the, it's 250 feet wide. So we're going to label this as 250 right here, and this as 275 right here. And then um, our code restrictions, we'll talk about that. So uh, remember, here's... <clears throat> Here's Birch Street right here, and then here's Cherry uh, Street right here, and here's Second and Third Avenues right there. So here's Second Avenue, Third Avenue, here's Birch and Cherry. So this side's 250 and this side, and then 275 and 275. Okay, just something like that. Is that lot a parallelogram? Why or why not? So I'm going to say yes, it is because these opposite sides are congruent, and so are these. So both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. Okay, so yes, it is a parallelogram. All right, so um, uh, where are we going to put the parking lot? Remember, the parking lot um, is going to be at least 20 feet wide, uh, and we got to we got to maximize our dog park area. Okay, well remember, you guys, um, uh, our, we got this creek that's going along the side of Birch right here. So if we got this creek, and we got to we got to stay away 15 feet. So I'm not going to put the parking lot over here. I'm going to put the parking lot over here on this side, on the Cherry Cherry Street side. So something like that. So remember, one end is um, uh, designed for one end. Of the, our lot is designed for a parking lot, and then a small creek runs along the Birch Street Street side. Okay. So because of the creek, the parking lot should go on the other side, on the Cherry Street side. And so the dimensions they told us had to be at least 20 feet. Um, uh, wide, so we'll do 20 feet at the top and bottom and 250 feet um, going down. So here's my 250 feet, so here's 250 feet, so this is going to be 20 because here's the Birch Street, the um, creek is somewhere over here, so I'm going to make it, uh, and it's not going to be drawn to scale, so I mean if that's 275, if I just even did a little bit for 20, it'd be small enough you couldn't see it, so I'm going to stretch it a little bit and do my 20 feet here. It's definitely not going to be uh, drawn to scale. So because of the creek, the parking lot should be on the Cherry Street side. So we'll put the parking lot over here. I think I'm going to spread out everything here. Um, so the dimensions are 20 feet long for the parking lot and 250 feet long. So what I did is I pulled the Cherry Street out up here. This is the same picture. I just copied and pasted it and moved it over so I can have room to put in my parking lot. So it's going to go 20 250, 20, 250 right there. That's going to be our parking lot right there, okay? So there it is right there, okay? All right, so now what are we going to do? So here's um, uh, uh, the next one here. So is that parking lot a parallelogram? Well, is this a parallelogram? Yeah, because both pairs or opposite sides are congruent. So the parking lot is a parallelogram as well. Okay, how about this? Let's draw the dimensions of the zone restrictions over there by the creek or the trees. Well, ours is a creek. I think one of those lots had trees and it had a zone restriction for that. So a small creek runs along that left-hand side, the Birch Street side of the lot. Nothing can be built within 15 feet. So we'll just back off 15 feet. So there should be a 15-foot buffer strip that runs parallel to Birch. Okay, so I'm going to do another buffer strip right here and do my 15 feet right there okay so um, uh, so here's my my 
my creek that's going down through here. So we got to have uh, by code, got to put that buffer in right there. So I just enlarged it right there. So I'm going to come back 15 feet. So we're um, have a, uh, it covers our zone restriction right there. So 15 on top and bottom and 250 on, on the left and on the right, right there. Okay. So is that what all I had to do? Yeah. So it said, draw that now draw in the sidewalks. Okay. Remember we had that sidewalk restriction, which was four feet sidewalk around the entire park. Okay. So here's my park right here. My, my dog park is right here. I got the buffer restrictions on this side. I got the parking lot on here and then here's the dog park right there. Okay, so now we got to do a four foot walkway going around this dude right here. That's what number eight says. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Okay, so I just drew in those four feet right there. So there's number eight. All right, so what are the final dimensions of this dog park? So here's my dog park. It's inside this little red zone right there. What are the final dimensions of the dog park that's not including the sidewalk uh, or the parking lot, okay? So what we got to do is think about we got uh, this length right here and this length right here. So this started as 275 and this started as 250. But our dog park is in here. So um, here it is. So the length is 275. So length times width right here. And and my dog park is right here. So if we start with 275, we'll take off the 15 feet for the zone restrictions. We'll take off the 20 feet for the parking lot. And then we'll take off this four foot walkway on this side and this side. So four and four is going to get us eight. So there's the 15 feet for the creek, the 20 feet for the parking lot, and the eight feet for the sidewalk. So 275 minus 15 20 which is 35 minus 43 so when i subtract that i get uh, 232 feet along the second avenue so so this length is 232 feet remember it's not drawn to scale because um you wouldn't be able to see you know the, the 15 feet if i drew it to scale if this whole thing is 275 feet 15 feet would be like right there it'd be hard to see anyway so it's not drawn to scale okay and then so the width the width is going to be we started with 250 the only thing we took off was this the four feet and the four feet so let's take off the eight feet for the sidewalks and so the width is going to be 242 over here on the cherry side and over here on the birch side right there all right so the final dimensions are 232 feet by 242 feet okay uh, I think there's a little bit more here so most importantly to satisfy our, our, our wonderful mayor, mayor who's a, a math teacher is this space a parallelogram why or why not okay so here's that I'm just gonna yes it's a parallelogram because both sets of the opposite sides are congruent remember it was um, it was this right here it was 232 by 242 so um, so now let's draw a sketch of the dog park. So here's um, uh, the member of the final dimensions is 232 by 242. And then so here's this right here. I'm just going to highlight this area and then float, float that right out there. So there it is right there. There's our dog park right there. And it's 232 by 242. And so our dogs can run around and bark and sniff and all that good stuff. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense and take care.